Hey everybody, Mr. Pokemon here, and today we're going to be getting into the continuation of my glitched Platinum Trophy Guide for Minecraft. Now, if you haven't seen uh, video number one, I will leave a link to that. But this is going off of the incentive that you've learned how to do the autosave glitch. And I've kind of mastered it. But anyways, um, as you can see here, I'm on a completely different world. Because I did accidentally mess up the, uh, the last one. Took too long, and the world got stuck in creative. That's okay. So... Just going through hand, um, I've kind of named some stuff and all that. So what we're going to do is get some of the first few out of the way. So the first two that we're going to do here is uh, bake bread and the lie. That's two right there. Simple done. One bronze, one silver. And then we're just going to put those back. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on making some potions. Um, we're gonna get another two right here. So make sure you have some nether wart, blaze powder, and magma cream. So to heading here into our potions, gonna specifically make sure the blaze powder gets put up there. Then the first thing you want to do is put the nether wart, and that'll make an awkward potion. Now you can't accidentally have it to where the blaze powder will get put in here, but that's fine. Just make sure you, you know, you're careful about where you put it. <clears throat> but anyways, once that's done, as you'll see, we'll make an awkward potion, take that out, then put the magma cream in, and then that'll make us a fire resistance potion, and since, you know, it takes three, you might as well should just make three to begin with, and that's why we also have the um, little magma pit right in front of us. As you'll see, Potion of Fire Resistance, so now I'm just going to take these out. Now, once you put these in your inventory, you'll get the trophy. Then simply drink it, and you'll see up in the top right, and then swim in lava, and that'll get us staying frosty. So that's another two trophies right there. So they go put all this back. Next, we're going to get the Obsidian and find our Flint and Steel. And we're going to make another portal right here. I just like to do it four by... Come on. Oy, so annoying. Four up, and I believe four over like this should be fine. Yep, and that'll get us the nether portal trophy. So we're going to go put these up. Next thing you want to do is have some books. Diamond and Obsidian. Which, why did I not? Come on. There we go. And this will get us another trophy called uh, for making the enchantment table. You can scroll up or down right here. It really doesn't matter. But once we have it, simply make it. And that'll be another trophy. So I'm just going to put this back. Next, we have the dispenser, which is cobblestone, redstone, and a bow. It doesn't matter the quality of the bow, just a bow. So next, you want to come over here to make mechanisms. Come over here, and boom, dispenser. Put this back. That'll be another trophy. Um, some of the trophies I'm not going to work on right now, um, because I have it set to peaceful. And we can't spawn anything like any uh, monsters in peaceful. So next, we're gonna work on the all the wool. Now, there's a trick to this one. Now, if you've given all of yourself all the wool in creative, what you simply need to do for it to work is simply just drop it all on the ground. Come on, a little bit faster here. Come on. And then I'm going to just put that there. And then run over it, and that'll give you the trophy for that. And then we can... Oh, whoops. Wrong. <laughs> wrong one. So we can put that back. Now, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go and shear some wool from a sheep. As you can see, I have some sheep pretty close by. And for some reason, I just couldn't find the spawning egg. So once you do that, boom, that'll be another trophy. Another two right there. So we're, as you can see, we're kind of just blowing through these pretty fast. Um, you can probably also notice some other stuff that I have going on that we'll get to eventually. Just don't worry about it. Here we go. 
Let's see iron golem. We need a block of we need blocks of iron and a carved pumpkin. So what you want to do with that? And sorry if you hear my iPod charging. So it's two up and two on both sides to make a T, and then a pumpkin on top to make an iron golem. That would be another trophy right there. Put these back. Uh, might as well should get when pigs fly. What else are we going to want to get? And overkill. So what you want to do is simply spawn a pig. Kill it. One hit. Make sure you have a sharpness 5 sword. That should net you overkill. If it doesn't, um, you can work on making some different kinds of diamond swords. Smite's a pretty good one to get. The next thing we're going to do is spawn another pig. Put a saddle on it. Have a carrot on a stick. Then simply lead the pig over here. Up these six high stairs. You only need to do six high. And then make them walk off. Take fall damage. And that should get when pigs fly. And we just, you know, get rid of the pig. Now the reason why we're doing that specifically is we will need to cook the raw pork chop. So don't worry about it. As of right now. Because we're in peaceful mode, we can't really eat anything or we don't need to. Next, oh, okay, we still have the sword. Next, we're going to get some cows going and some wheat. So you spawn two cows, get the wheat out, make them have a kid. That'll be another trophy. Then, luckily, when you kill the cows, you should get some leather. That'll be another two trophies right there from the cows. Then we have the jukebox here. Simply take out a disc and play it and then you can immediately eject it put it back that'll be another trophy here we have some wolves so what you want to do is spawn a wolf try and feed it some bones till you get the heart symbol sometimes you'll get super lucky sometimes you'll kind of have to go through a few of them but you need to do this five times as you can see you've already got three then on the fifth one Boom, you'll be done. Oh, we did way more. But then afterwards, you can just clean house. I'm sorry, little guys. I love you all, I, I promise. Any others? Got the final little straggler over here. You saw what happened. Okay. Fair enough, I'll let them live. So anyways, we'll just put these up. Here, we're going to make some bookshelves. You just simply need some books and some planks. Pretty simple. Head all the way back here to decorations. Head to the paper. Head down. Boom. Bookshelves. Pretty standard. Next, we're going to do a renewable energy. That requires uh, some logs and planks. So what you want to do is simply put the planks first as the fuel and the logs on top as the ingredient. And what we're doing here is we're making charcoal. You just simply need to make the one charcoal, then take out the planks, put the charcoal over here as the fuel. And then once the charcoal gets used, the next time you get charcoal, it'll give you renewable energy, which is pretty easy. So if you want to see this all the way through, just keep replacing the charcoal as the fuel till you get it. And then once it's done, you can simply just take it all out. From here, we've got pot planter. You simply want to have some nice bricks that you can make. Head over here, and it should be up right in decorations. Then the first thing you want to do is just kind of squat, place it, and that'll be pot planter. Pretty simple. Next thing we want to do is we want to uh, acquire hardware and have a full suit of armor. So what we do is we come back here, put some coal in, put some iron ore. Then come over here, head over to the armor section, and make a full suit of iron armor, and equip it, and that'll be one trophy done. So we can then just go unequip it, come on, and then put it back, and our ironing it's, and then we can immediately come over here, and just take whatever's done out, and that'll be another two, which is pretty nice. As you can see, we're kind of just going right through these. Now, if we come over here, 
you'll see I've made two different things. This one will be for three trophies, and then this one is for another one. So I've already built the full rail system. So if you simply place your minecart here and then hit forward, you'll see that I've gone through, done everything. And how I've done this is every 10 standard rails, I've put an empowered rail. And then on either side of it, it's up to you how you want to do this. Uh, you put a redstone torch like you see here. And you need to do this for 500 uh, you know, blocks. So roughly nine full stacks of standard rails and then one full stack of empowered rails and one full stack of redstone torches just to be on the safe side and then boom i've already done that as you can see i'm pretty far away and then you can simply just write it immediately back um so yeah as you can tell we're, we're pretty much going through most of these tro uh, trophies as you can see i haven't even explored this new map that i'm on yet um, that'll probably be the next thing that you really want to do once we get back, of course, is um, I'll probably go through and explore most of this map, and that'll get us adventuring time, which is one trophy that's kind of annoying, but not really. It just depends on when you decide you want to do it. So we can exit out, punch this thing till it... I think we need to use a weapon. Okay, I need to use a weapon on it. Simply just put it back. Um, there's a few trophies that we need just as of right now, but we can't get because, like I said, we're in peaceful. There's a few other stuff that we're going to work on. Let me find it. Where is it? I know it's somewhere. Oh, there it is. So now we're going to get our fishing rod. Head over to a source of water, which luckily we have right next to us. Now I've got Luck of the Sea 3 and Mending just to help me ensure I catch something. Which it's probably best to do in a more open area of water. So we're just going to take this back. Yeah. Come on. Now we're going to catch two fish specifically. Uh, one for us and one for taming an ocelot. Which we, it was one of the few chests that we actually didn't go into just yet. Now, if you want to make pins for most of these animals, by all means, go ahead. It'll definitely help uh, get it done faster. Or ensure that, the, you know, the ocelot or the animals won't run away. Having a look at the C3 might be a small hindrance as of right now. But I feel like it'll be a lot better in terms of how much we can catch. And having mending will just ensure that it never breaks. As you can see, we're just getting name tags. It's alright, though. But anyways, uh, as you, you know, like I said, we've pretty much been just blowing through most of these. And I will mention as of right now, there is only one trophy that you can't glitch or cheat in any way, shape, or form. And that is just to play 100 days straight in the game. Oh, look, we got a saddle. It's nice. And that trophy is actually going to be the last trophy you get if you're following this guide correctly. And the reason why it's the last trophy to get is it takes 33 hours to get it. There's at least one fish. We can throw that in there. Come pick up our fish. But yeah, it takes 33 hours because every in-game day is roughly 20 minutes. And it takes 100 days, which is a very long time to just do. And for most people, you know, you're probably having to just sit around and do nothing or if you really wanted to uh, you know play the game build stuff you know however you want to make the time go by faster or if you want to just put the game on in peaceful mode and just every now and then touch your controller and move it that way you don't have your ps4 automatically turn off if you have that setting on and you know you can work on other trophies if you have like a ps3 or something you know it'll work so from here, what we're going to do is come back over to our iron, grab the coal, put this in, take one out, cook it. We're also going to grab the pork chop because even though we don't get to immediately eat these, we can eventually do that. Now, one thing while that's being cooked, uh, I will say is, where is it? 
I made a zombie chest. Now you're gonna need some rotten flesh just for the sake of it. I'm also gonna put the cooked, the, oh, the raw cod and the cooked cod here. Take one out. That way I know where it is. But uh, we are gonna need some rotten, uh, some rotten flesh. So spawn an ocelot. Immediately pull the fish out, but don't move. If you need to, slowly walk at the ocelot with the fish out. This is probably the most annoying. As you'll see, he'll kind of notice us. Nothing too... Don't move too much. That way he won't run away. He's kind of being annoying right now. For some reason, I don't know why. As you can see, okay, once he notices you have the fish, he'll kind of walk towards you kind of come on if you need to just inch your way at him and once you have the chance oh okay it's okay he's coming right back if he does that just don't move and you should be able to tame him uh it might take one or two fishes so that's that's completely fine um this is more or less just showing you what you need to do for the trophy so yeah, because I don't have more than one, uh, you know, one fish on hand, uh, you know, that's, that'll be one trophy once you do do it, uh, do do, uh, so bad. Anyways, no, it's not what I wanted to do at all. I'm just going to put the name tags in here with it. Take out our pork chops, put them here. And that pretty much should be the most of what we can do right now. Um, like I said, the rest is more or less just uh, when we're not in peaceful mode. So I'm going to go ahead and just say do adventuring time as of right now while you're still in peaceful mode. That way you can, you know, fully explore your map. You know, if you want to um, get some stuff going. I almost completely forgot. Why did I even forget that? Um, diamonds. <laughs> And emeralds, we need those. So the first thing you want to do is simply just place them down, use your pickaxe to get some diamonds, and that'll be one trophy right there. Now, for emeralds, it actually, for some reason, it's a little bit buggy on the amount when it will activate. But if you need to, you probably need to go through a full stack of 64 emerald ore just to be on the safe side or go till the trophy pops because for some reason like you'll get 30 like you'll see that i have i have more than 30 but it won't pop so just keep going until it does so i'm just going to stop it right here at 64 put this stuff back now the only other trophy that i think that we could do as of right now is diamonds to you and that requires a second uh, controller or a second player, or if you have a friend who'd be willing to just hop on and let you throw some diamonds at them, if they don't already have the trophy in them at you, then go for it. But other than that, the last few trophies we can do in, uh, excuse me, uh, while the game is set on easy. So I'm just going to simply uh, exit out and then reload the game into easy mode. So I'll see you then. Okay, and now that we're in easy mode, we can spawn enemies. So the first thing we want to do is come over, grab our zombie. Now what you also want to do is work on depleting your um, hunger bar, as you can see we already have. So spawn a zombie, kill it, and that'll get us uh, time to strike. And since we already got some rotten flesh, we can put that back. And then immediately go put our zombies back. Now, actually, I'm going to... I don't know if you if this will work or not, but if you want to test this out and confirm it for me, I'd much appreciate it because I already have the trophy. Um, what you want to do is simply spawn a zombie, like so. Get him to look at you for some reason. He's not doing it. Throw some diamonds at him, possibly, and see if he'll pick it up at all, which apparently he hasn't. No, nope, he's not doing it. Okay, so... Can, I don't know if it's fully confirmed or not, but um, just have a friend, or if you have a second controller that you can use, that'll definitely uh, make it a lot easier. So we're just going to go put this stuff back up. 
so now what we can also do is we can come over find the ocelot and eat our cooked cod and that'll get us another trophy then come over to the pig grab we only need one one pork chop so we can take that and then kind of run around and jump if you can to help deplete your bar faster it takes it takes a bit of time doing this for some reason but if you want to you can put it on like a higher difficulty if you really need to and then once you can eat the cooked pork chop and then the next thing you want to do is fully deplete your hunger bar on the right to where there's nothing left and then eat the rotten flesh and that'll get you another trophy so that'll be three trophies right there one for the fish one for the pork chop and one for the rotten flesh which is very helpful so i'm just gonna put these up for now where is it here we go okay so the next and main three trophies that we're gonna do is we need a bow and we also need some arrows okay so the reason why we have the bow is for two trophies one is a creeper which we and the other is a skeleton and the final one we're going to work on is the cure zombie villager so the first thing you want to do is spawn a creeper and if you have a bow with power on it it'll basically be a one hit kill for the creeper and that'll get you art uh, archer i believe then the next thing you want to do is spawn a skeleton and just simply run back now i've measured out how far we need to go and that's roughly 50 blocks right here but for me i uh, just go a little bit farther just to be on the safe side and it should be a one hit kill as well to the skeleton and that should get you sniper duel so that's those two already out of the way so then we're going to trade out the zombie villager. And then what you want to do is spawn him. Throw a splash potion of weakness on him. You'll see if it's effective or not right there. Then cure him with a golden apple. Now this will take a bit of time so don't worry. Um, you can kind of just chill around for a bit. And then you know come back to it. And that will be another... Two bronze trophies and a gold trophy, so that's already two gold trophies out of the three that you can earn for the base game of the Platinum Trophy Guide. And that's the main thing to take notice of here, is this is mainly for the base game, nothing, um, you know, DLC related at all. Um, there is one trophy that you will actually have to physically do the work for, and that is a chest full of cobblestone. So if you want to, just simply, where is it? out somewhere my organization is awful i know simply just start like a i don't even know i guess like a a three a three wide mine and take all the cobblestone that you get from it and put it in it into a single chest like i have down here at the very end and that'll pretty much get you uh that trophy which is pretty cool you know um but yeah that's pretty much the majority of the trophies i know there's probably a few that i've missed that i can't think of i i think i've gone through most of them uh oh okay i know what i've missed completely i know what i've missed and that is the uh relieve <laughs> ah i can't believe i almost forgot these so you can spawn blazes out here so simply just kill one until you get blaze rods like I just did first go which is pretty cool I definitely recommend not spawning the ghast out here so what we simply want to do is just head into um, our portal I'm gonna wait till this dude gets nice and cured before we do this so yeah um, and that'll pretty much be all of the fighting trophies that we have to do so you could easily put the game back into peaceful mode and then we can finish the rest of them because right now there should only be four trophies left. Five if you don't have the diamonds, uh, you know, diamonds to you, which is to throw diamonds at another player. Which, for anyone who needs help with that one, um, I'd be glad to help you out. You just need to add me on PSN. It's the same name as my uh, YouTube name. And yeah. 
But for the most part, um, you are going to need some cobblestone. I've already given myself some, but it doesn't count towards the chest full of cobblestone. And that's going to help us with fighting the gas. Because you want to kind of build a little chamber that you can spawn the gas in. That way you can fight it without it flying off. We're also going to equip our diamond armor, which has blast protection on. And feather falling on the boots, just for the safety of it. Now, as well, where is it? I also have made a enchanted apple. So if you eat, the first time you make one of these and eat it, um, you'll get a silver trophy. Uh, as you can see, this dude's turned back to normal. So we can now head into our nether and work on setting up a small little arena for the gas. I don't want to spawn him out in the real world because I feel like that'd be too problematic for me. So yeah. Oh, wow. This is a pretty lucky spawn. Not gonna lie. So probably what I'm gonna immediately do here is just kind of wall it off. That way he can't just, uh, oh. Oh no, but anyways, I'm gonna, since I have such a nice little area like this, it's open, immediately gonna spawn him in it. As you can see here, uh, he kind of had a weird spawn, but he spawned halfway into this ground here, which is a good thing for me, because since he's stuck like that, as long as he's still able to fire his little fireballs at you, you can still reflect him back. And since you're so close, it's a guaranteed hit kill on him. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be the final fighting trophy that we need to do um, in non peaceful which is pretty nice. So we can easily just um, exit game, put the world back to uh, normal, which is pretty cool. Don't, um, like I said, there's just a few things that you probably want to work on. Um, chest full of cobblestone will be pretty good. Um, just make a nice uh, mending, unbreaking uh, shovel and work on that you know it takes roughly ugh, 27 stacks of cobblestone which is kind of ridiculous which i will probably actually work on um in my off time for this that way if anybody who wants to join this world uh you know by all means go ahead and, or if you know want my help you know and you're on ps4 like i said add me i'd be happy to help anybody um if you need any explanations on how to do the autosave glitch I would also be free to help anybody with that and help teach you how to do it. But anyways, um, I'm just going to quickly put the game back into, uh, you know, uh, peaceful. That way I don't get attacked like I just did. <laughs> but I think that's pretty much going to be the end of uh, part two. Uh, part three is going to be ridiculously short. It's mainly just going to be the final Ender Dragon fight. And then just... You know, spending the 100 days in the game. But um, I've been Mr. Pilgrim, and I'll catch you guys next time.